I'm Rob. And I'm Matt. And this is the Wanted Killer VR Review by Barefoot Gaming. So, Matthew, what do you do in the game? What's the general, what's the storyline? Let's start with the storyline first. So, I mean, there's basically a bad organization that is trying to get rid of you and you're trying to not die. <laughs> yeah, so they sucked your soul or your spirit or whatever yep. out of your body and now you've got this superhuman ability and the mm -hmm. superhuman ability lets you teleport to right. different locations. So you can either teleport to the pink squares that are on the ground or each enemy that you kill you can teleport to their dead body and pick up their weapon as you teleport to them. Absolutely. So there's teleportation as a movement mm -hmm. style, there's room scale as a movement style, yep. and there's also you can turn on free movement right. if you just want to wander about. Mm -hmm. Now talk about the free movement a little bit. So the free movement you'll use the trackpad to move around and you can use teleportation at the same time while doing it. So I found it easiest if I use the free movement more so to dodge the bullets instead of ducking and diving left and right, you move the trackpad to move around and then teleport to the enemies once you've killed them. Yeah, and again on a on a rift or whatever you're mm -hmm. using the, the stick right. instead of. Yeah. But for me, the and I, I'm not really trying to get into the review part mm. yet. Yep. Uh, I think the game was really more designed to be using the teleport function primarily yeah. because if you hold in the button to move, mm -hmm. time slows down. Yep. And, and like Matthew said, you can do that when you're doing free movement as well. Mm -hmm. But if you're just doing free movement and the other teleportation and just being able to move anywhere around the map, yep. it takes a lot of the challenge away. So that you really have to watch your, where you're timing. It really does. Yeah, because if you're not doing the free movement, you're stuck in one location. And the difficulty is probably ramped up like two or three fold by doing that. Yeah, and they give you like large pink spaces mm -hmm. that you can teleport to and you jump right. back and forth. Mm -hmm. But it feels cooler to me anyway when you're killing the bad guys mm -hmm. and heading towards them and then yep. you'll kill somebody before you even get there yeah and then you change where you want to teleport it's to. actually a lot of fun as you're going slow motion using your guns because even though you've used one of your triggers to move to that location you can still use that gun to shoot people and look around as long as you keep holding in your grip trigger yeah and if you just let go it's instant teleport right okay so now we've talked about the movement we've mm -hmm. talked about uh, let's talk about the different modes there's three different modes in this game Right, so there's the wave style aspect to it, which basically it'll bring wave after wave towards you as you teleport around a mall type area. Yeah, and it's a fairly large map. Right. But uh, And then there's also a skyscraper aspect to it where basically you'll follow this robot around holding a point um, for about 30 seconds each point, killing the waves that come towards you moving along the map. But the interesting part about that is mm -hmm. it's easiest to kill the guys by jumping around, right. right? But if you are not right by the robot... Right, you have to be on top of that pink spot in order for the timer to actually count down. So you can be clearing off a bunch of stuff, but mm -hmm. you're not actually going to progress through the level right. until you go back there and you kind of have to hunker down a little bit mm -hmm. and then you shoot it, shoot them from a distance and teleport again. So that's the second style and the yep. third style is... So the third style has you breaking open boxes to find these keys or different types of items. Once you've collected enough of that item, then the mission's completed and you can move on to the next mission. Right, and the game is early access, mm -hmm. so right now I think there are 15 levels Yeah, there's currently. 15 single player levels right now. And then let's talk about the RPG aspect of this. Right. So your character slowly levels up by killing stuff, you get experience and you'll see your level bar go up. Also same with your weapons themselves, you can upgrade your weapons as you go along so they can become more and more powerful. Yeah, and buy different handguns, mm -hmm. like your basic handgun will have infinite ammo, right. whereas your other weapons you have to constantly be buying. Mm -hmm. However, you can upgrade whatever your basic handgun is and right. you can have a different handgun in your right hand than your left. Mm -hmm. Even on start, depends if you want the shield gun or yep. if you want the freeze gun, there's different kinds and mm -hmm. again you can upgrade each one. What kind of weapons can you grab from the enemies? Right so I mean I'll list four there's about uh, handguns, there's machine guns, there is Tesla rifles which is basically just a laser rifle that you can shoot constantly and flamethrowers. Yeah is the Tesla rifle the one that's like a sniper? Yeah yeah I like that sniper's one. Job. Yeah, yeah that one you, know, you can take them out really quick. Yeah it doesn't have much ammo to it though so no. it dies really fast which is good because it is an overpowered weapon. <laughs> yeah and I think the only thing that we haven't really talked on above early access and the stuff they want to add is your health bar and your shield uh, right. are on the back of your wrist. Mm -hmm. So you kind of hold either hand up, you can see what your health is at any given point, yep. you can see what your shields are and again those are things that you can pick up from boxes 
uh, just by holding your, your button in and it'll drag towards you. Which right. is a neat mechanic because sometimes they'll put things in a funny place where you have to grab in slow motion. Mm -hmm. You'll only have access, like they'll have, I think the very first level, yep. there's a great big opening where you have to teleport over and mid teleport there is a key that you need. Mm -hmm. So you need to grab the key remotely and pull it towards you mid teleport. So. Bit Which of a puzzle is aspect. Really nice because even if like you kill an enemy and you don't want to teleport to that location, you can still grab their gun from a distance by having it move towards you. Same with you doing the health and armor. You got it. Last point, I think, let's talk about some of the stuff they want to add in early access, just right. so you know kind of what's coming. So they actually want to add a co-op mode to this game yet too, so you can play with other people instead of just being by yourself to go through the missions, which I think would be a lot of fun, because if you have two people teleporting around the map, shooting people, I wonder how they would do the slow motion, though, if both people would get slow motion as one is moving. It that creates would a complicated be an mechanic. interesting Absolutely. aspect, though, because imagine you're standing still one person teleporting, Ports, and then you get that slow motion aspect to it too. Yeah. So you kind of work around each other. I think it'd be cool. It would be cool, but it, it isn't there right, right. now. Right? <laughs> yeah. And neither are, and again, that's player versus everything is yep. what they have listed. Mm. Uh, also, a lot of the enemy types, mm -hmm. there's models in game. You can see that on the main screen, yep. but they're not, I mean, I think a third of them are actually implemented into the game, yep. if that. So more missions, more people, more, mm -hmm. that's the game. Yeah. That is Wanted Killer VR. Uh, clearly you can see their graphic style is unique. Yeah. This is something that kind of has a bit of a cartoon cell shaded yes, with a comic book-esque to it. Yeah, with very sharp black edges, yep. which I think is, looks really stylized. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've talked about all the different mechanics. We've talked about the different gameplay styles, right. the different modes. This thing goes for $10.99. Let's get to the actual review. Matthew, mm -hmm. any pros you can think of? Cons, and then give me out of five and tell me why. Right, so the teleportation, huge pro for me. So if you teleport fast, you know, you can get to that location as fast as you want, but time doesn't slow down. Whereas if you hold in the trigger and you slowly move towards them, you can make yourself do some really cool plays around that, grab some stuff, shoot some people. You can kill like three people on the way there and kind of play the game out slow or fast depending on how you want to do that. I can't think of too many cons about this game at the moment to be honest just because for $10.99 the game is really clean. I love the way they do it, I love the art style of it, and for me I'd probably give the game about a 4 out of 5. Okay, so I'm gonna have to say that I, I agree with a lot of what you said, I like the art style. I think the teleportation is neat because a lot of games lean on teleportation when they don't know how to move you around. Right. And what they've done here is they've taken teleportation and they've made it part of the game. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it, if it wasn't there, this game wouldn't exist. Right. So I think bravo for thinking outside of the box on mm -hmm. that. Uh, again, I love the fact that you can bounce around killing people and before you finish your teleportation move, you can head to somewhere else, you can be killing people and juggling death mm -hmm. all over the place. The negatives I would give this are, right now, there there still needs to be more content. Mm -hmm. At the price point, I, I think it's very fair. I don't think I don't think they're charging too much, no. but the game does need more content. It needs more levels, mm -hmm. it needs more environments. Uh, even the number of game modes I'm fine with, even mm -hmm. as is, but it needs more levels, it needs more enemies, and these are all things that they know and they're planning to add. The only other con I want to mention is it can be difficult to actually teleport to certain pink locations. Right. So if you're on a main floor and you're trying to get up, mm -hmm. the, like a level, let's say, in uh, in the subway, yep. it can be difficult. I can be click, 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 and I wish it was maybe a little bit easier to get mm -hmm. to those. Maybe they're trying to make it difficult so that you're not popping all over the map super, right. super easy, but it'd be nice to get to them just a little bit easier than having to try to finagle the... But it's a, it's a minor complaint because usually you can kill someone by it, you can get up that way as mm -hmm. well. There was also one more thing, whereas if you're standing within those pink squared areas, that pink light keeps shining right in your face, and I wish they would dim that down quite a bit, because if you're standing on the edge, you can't see anything but pink, and you have to constantly teleport yourself over just to make sure that you're not blinded by seeing that. Yeah, so on those pink pads themselves, they're mm -hmm. like they're like walls right. of light. And if you're right on that wall, mm -hmm. like Matthew's saying, you just... Yeah, and I can understand from a distance wanting that wall to be up high, but as soon as you're on top of that, I feel like they should cut that wall in half, so you still see it at waist height, but you wouldn't see it in your eye level. Agreed. Uh, more weapons are always great, but mm -hmm. even the number of weapons they have! And again, a 1099, 
it's really hard to slight them on this. So I would give this a solid four out of five. Mm -hmm. This is something that if it has slipped off your radar, if you like shooters, if you like something where you can kind of get that matrix-ish mm -hmm. type feel, and the number of times where I was bending half, like trying to move my head. Yeah. And when a game fools me and makes me move my body, mm -hmm. try to get, even though my body isn't tracked, mm -hmm. I know they're doing a good job. There is one con that I thought about for this game. For the trackpad movement, it would be nice if they would limit your movement slightly to a certain box area because right now if you can move freely the game just feels it feels like you're breaking the game it doesn't feel like you're playing it the way that it's supposed to be played. too easy almost yeah. is what the free but again you have to go in and turn free movement right. on as an option and, yeah, and we found that yeah when we were doing free movement mm -hmm. we weren't moving around nearly as much when right. we were actually playing the way the game was otherwise mm -hmm. we were ducking and hitting the floor and right. trying to so it was more exciting for sure yeah subscribe <laughs> yeah. don't forget to subscribe <laughs> we love hearing from you so comment like share our videos yes. let the world know yeah, I mean, our comment section, we're not seeing too many of you guys comment. Like, we really want to hear from you. We want you to say what you want us to review. I mean, we'll try our best to put as many videos out there as we can. I mean, we got a limited time slot, right? We try and do one to two videos a week. But definitely comment. Tell us what you think, how we're doing. If you want to see some improvements, let us know. Yeah, or if you're just tired of Matthew's facial hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I I'm shaved tired. the other day. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And that was... Wanted Killer VR by Barefoot Gaming. We'll talk to you again real soon. See ya. See ya.